Hi, Pastor Doug from the Second Congregational Church in Winston, Connecticut, back with another question. Today's question is very direct. Do you fear God? Do you fear the Lord? It is something that has almost completely disappeared from the vocabulary of modern Christians, uh, whether liberal Christianity, you know, liberalism is not really Christianity, but that's another whole other video, or even among evangelicalism, especially poppy evangelicalism. We don't talk about the fear of the Lord. We don't like talking about that all, at all. Um, we love talking about how God loves everyone, but we've lost all sense of the holiness of God. Now, quickly, the fear of the Lord is throughout Scripture. It's in Old and New Testaments. I mean, famously from Proverbs 1-7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom instru and instruction. Unless you have the fear of the Lord, you're really going to be a fool. You're really not going to be able to know anything with any depth. Now, some might say, well, that's just an Old Testament thing. That's the Old Testament God. I, it's in both Testaments. Let me just give you one example from the New. The words of our Lord. This is Matthew 10, 28. And do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Well, that's pretty straightforward. And talk about someone you should fear. Now, it's tempting to say, well, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't really mean... Fear, it just means respect. Uh, au contraire. If you actually look it up in the original, it's where we get our word phobia from. Um, you could translate the words as terror. The terror of the Lord came upon them, which is, of course, a quote from Scripture. Those That concept is throughout Scripture because God is holy and we are not. Now, I know this is not a popular subject for this day and age, but it is a critical one. I do confess, though, as a pastor, it's hard to teach this because so many Christians I've run into when I say, do you fear the Lord? Most of them will honestly say, you know, no, not really, because I know God loves me in Christ. And of course, that's true. Um, we have forgiveness in Jesus Christ. God's love is upon us through Christ's blood. That's absolutely true. But we're still called to fear him. Those are not contradictory because God is a holy God. And yes, we cling to Christ's love, but we understand who the Almighty is. And when we wrestle with sin, man, there should be fear of the Lord. But Christians have a really hard time understanding that because in our modern age, we really don't fear anything. I mean, the word, another use for fear in the New Testament or in the Old Testament also is obeisance. And have you ever heard of that word? It is just to prostrate oneself before one's superior. And of course, we don't have that in our modern culture. You know, we don't have the notion, oh, the Lord's walking down the street. I better prostrate myself, fall on my knees before him, lest he kill me and my family. No, we don't have that. And by the way, praise the Lord, we don't. It's wonderful that we live in a Christian society where we have uh, such freedom in our modern democracy. However, we are still called to fear the Lord. And in my ponderings on how to describe this, I think if you had to start at a concept that you would understand, to begin to understand the fear of the Lord, is the following word. Are you concerned? Are you more concerned with God's opinion instead of yours or the world? And so when you're in a situation in this world, and the world wants you to be quiet or are you, are you concerned that if you say something, you'll get in trouble, someone may not like you? Or are you more concerned of God's opinion? And that's why I fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Are you concerned of what he might think? And therefore, that requires you to know God's law, the things which God loves and the things which God hates. Now, you might say, well, aren't we supposed to love God and love our neighbor? Oh, that is absolutely true. But notice which one comes first. is the love of God. And so to go to our neighbor and to wink at sin, to encourage sin, is neither to love your neighbor nor it is to love God. We should be concerned with what he thinks, the Almighty thinks. And we should have fear and trembling about that. 
And as the scriptures teach, the wonderful thing is, the more you fear the Lord, the less you will fear everything else. And the more you'll walk by faith, and walk by hope, and walk by love. You know, how's Amazing Grace put it? Taught my heart to fear, and all my fears relieved. I would encourage all Christians to ponder the fear of the Lord more. Ponder to know that God is holy. And stop being concerned about the world. And be much more concerned about the Almighty's opinion. And again, that requires you to know his law and to know what he loves and know what he hates. Well, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, Christ's grace to you all. Amen.